But each time, it was the bulging face of the saloon keeper that peered in at him by the sickly light of a tallow candle. And each time a joyful bark that trembled in Buck's throat was twisted into a savage growl. But the keeper let him alone, and in the morning four men entered and picked up the crate. More tormentors, Buck decided, for they were evil-looking creatures, ragged and unkempt. And he stormed and raged at them through the bars. They only laughed and poked sticks at him, which he promptly assailed with his teeth, till he realized that that was what they wanted. Whereupon he lay down sullenly and allowed the crate to be lifted into a wagon. Then he and the crate in which he was imprisoned began a passage through many hands. Clerks in the express office took charge of him. He was carted about in another wagon. A truck carried him with an assortment of boxes and parcels upon a ferry steamer. He was trucked off the steamer into a great railway depot, and finally he was deposited in an express car. For two days and nights this express car was dragged along at the tail of shrieking locomotives. And for two days and nights Buck neither ate nor drank. In his anger, he had met the first advances of the express messengers with growls, and they had retaliated by teasing him. When he flung himself against the bars, quivering and frothing, they laughed at him and taunted him. They growled and barked like detestable dogs, mewed and flapped their arms and crowed. It was all very silly, he knew, 